Well, a Carlsbad High School senior has been named the Distinguished Young Woman of California. It's all part of a national scholarship program. Skyla Nelson joins us now to talk more about this accomplish accomplishment and what it means to her. Good morning, Skyla. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Well, I'm doing great, but not as good as you are. Uh, let's start. Take me through the timeline of your story, because it actually starts in 2020, does it not, when you win this award at the Carlsbad level? Yes, so we start at a local level as uh, high school juniors, and we compete with a small group of girls, and I was named one of five spots of the Distinguished Young Woman of Carlsbad. And then I moved on to the state program, which was this past month, and was named the Distinguished Young Woman of California. Well, congratulations to you. Explain it, what is, this is, uh, it requires a lot of different skill, does it not? Yes. So Distinguished Young Women competes with five categories. So we have the interview portion, we have scholastics, we have talent, fitness, and self-expression. And what category? You're a dancer, are you not? Yes. So I imagine that factored into your fitness portion, or uh, where did that factor in? Both fitness and talent. So okay. I've been a dancer my entire life, so naturally... Uh, competing with talent was a dance portion, and then my dance skills came in very handy for uh, fitness. Well, uh, again, congratulations. Now, is there a next level to uh, compete at? Yes. So now I'll go to compete nationally, where each of the 50 states selects one representative, and we'll go to Mobile, Alabama in June and compete there. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, what does this mean to your confidence as a, a young person growing up? We always hear about the trials and tribulations, and yet you seem to have it licked. I think Distinguished Young Women really resonates with everyone because we're able to build life skills and confidence. And I like to say that everyone in the program has one thing in common where we're driven by our, you know, our drive. We're really wanting to make this place a better world, and that's why Distinguished Young Women brings together some of the smartest and most ambitious girls in the nation. Who do you credit for, when you have role models? I'm guessing there are there's some adults in your life that you want to shout out to? I attribute everything to my mom and my grandmother. They are some of the most strongest women in my life, and being able to watch them and learn from them, I think this is where I get all of my skills from. Collegiately, have you made your college decision yet? Not yet. And where do you hope to be studying next year? I'm not sure. I'm still waiting to hear back from colleges, but I hope to study speech language pathology. Very good. Hey, being that I don't get to talk to young people as much as I used to as, a, as in my former life as a sportscaster, I'm curious, how are you handling this Zoom existence as a student? You know, everything's changed, and I think... The one thing that we have to be able to do as students right now is just remain resilient and keep pushing on, keep motivating ourselves to do our best. And as long as we do that, we'll be able to ho overcome anything. We hear a lot of, of people who are trying to get kids back into school talking about uh, the level of depression they're seeing and kids are feeling more isolated. In your, in your world, are you experiencing any of that or are any of your classmates, former classmates, experiencing that? I think it's hard and I think... The one thing that we all continue to see is just being sucked into this virtual world and really not getting a break from our screens. But that's why I loved Distinguished Young Women because it was something different. It was something outside of my normal routine. And I think if kids can find something like that to really love and really work towards, then we'll be able to navigate the online world. As we wrap this up, your world words of inspiration for fellow young women maybe watching this who may, might want to follow in your footsteps, what would you say to them? Follow your passions. Do what you want and put the effort towards it, and you'll be successful in everything in life. Well, congratulations, Skyla Nelson. Thank you for making time for KUSI. Thank you so much. We'll hear back from you when you're uh, winning at the national level, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, giving local restaurants another way.